Well, hi. Thanks for joining me in my shop here. I decided after a little bit of friendly prompting from uh, Joseph to check the alignment on this radio, which I kind of thought I was done with. Um, but why not give it a poke around a little bit for the alignment side of it. Now, this is an AM FM radio. There's a number of things to align. There's the AM IF and the AM RF side of it. And then there's the FM IF. There's also probably uh, some kind of antenna adjustment on the FM side. And most importantly, there will probably be some adjustments in here for the FM detector. And without the manual and instructions, I really don't want to fool around at all with the adjustments for the FM uh, detector. So what I really want to adjust is just the IF uh, strip, if you like, for the AM and the FM side. So currently, I already have all the equipment set up. Everything's running already. So uh, first we'll flip it up on full voltage because I just noticed I'm on uh, restriction. So we have our IF frequency set to 10.7. Let's see if we make that even more accurate. There we are. With my signal, my frequency counter is only so accurate itself. So it's really plus or minus. Uh, 0 0.005, something like that. But that looks pretty good. Now let's see if the tone is there. Okay, now this is the 10.7 megacycles being injected into the radio in a place where the radio is sensitive, but I haven't necessarily picked the right spot. So the first thing we got to do is deduce where to inject the 10.7. And the easiest way to do that, unfortunately, is to figure out which tube is the mixer tube and I think it's either the 12 AV6 or 17 EW8 something like that. I think it's a 12 AV6 I think and the problem is the circuit diagram is down under here. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. Take a look at it. Oh man that's awkward. Maybe I'll leave it up like that afterwards. Okay, the circuit diagram, which I'll show you here, <laughs> uh, there it is, it's stuck on the bottom of the radio, but it is so small and in poor shape, I have to read it with a magnifying glass myself. So. Let's do that, and all I'm really doing is just trying to figure out uh, which tube is the uh, mixer tube. Let's see what we see here. Okay, 30A5 is the audio output, 12AV6 is the audio preamp. 12 BA6, 212 BA6 in the IF strip. Ah. Oh, here it is. 12 BE6. There's a 12 BE6 in there. <clears throat> I didn't realize that. Okay, so it's a 12 BE6. Now, where is the 12 BE6 in this radio? Uh. See if I'm lucky enough to just spot it. I wish I had a little bit longer speaker wires here. I could move, move this around a lot easier. 12BA, 12BA. I think I think I see it there. 12B. Okay, so I've spotted the 12BE6. It's this tube right here. Disconnect the tone. And uh, we'll look at the 12BE6 and figure out which pin we should connect to. So very quickly, referring to our tube book here, 12BE6, pentagrid converter. And we can go on one, pin one, pin six. Uh, pin 1 should, should do the trick. Let's try pin 1. Okay, so looking in at the, at the 
12 BE6 in one. Oh, it's a little hard to see that. Let's take a look. Here, why don't you take a look too? So I'm looking for pin number one. I'm looking for the uh, gap in the pins. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I think the gap is up under that white wire there. So that makes pin one, that one with the resistor coming to it there, and the capacitor. Okay, well that's easy enough to get to. That's good. Let's give it a go here. Okay. And one. We'll just uh, we'll just tap it with the uh, signal generator capacitor here. Volumes down. Well, that didn't do much, did it? Oh, you know what? This could be the. Uh, this is the AM. This is the AM converter. So if it reacts to 10.7, duh, okay, gotta be another tube doing the FM side, I think. I don't know if that really makes sense. Let's see, what else could be? Now there's really nothing else in this radio that can do the job. What's going on here? Empty as the pot. <laughs> they can see it. They got to the beach and it's gone. That might be a good spot right there. Okay, let's try this one up here. That's not too good.
Well, I'm not sure. That one that's very sensitive. Oh, man, this is not going to work. The whole radio position is sensitive here. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm going to find somewhere better to connect this. There's too much wonkiness going on there. That's a little better. How do we go on there? Right on one of the IF can leads, which I don't particularly like either, but... Or is it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now we're ready to twiddle some dials, I think. Not some dials. That one's sensitive. But none of these are. Well, we'll adjust the one that's sensitive. Let's see. It's the uh, meters in the camera view, but I'm not sure you can see it. Here we go. Even my fingers getting near it is a problem. And my plastic tool will not engage, as usual. Let's try another one. Here we go. Well, I really need a much better set of alignment tools. The ones I have, I've had for so long, they're all kind of wrecked. Worn out. Okay. This is crummy. Okay, let's try and get this where I can see what I'm doing. Okay, I think I got it. just happened there. There's some faking in and out. This could be a good lesson and leave well enough alone. That's what this could be in the being.
Now the radio appears to be tuning itself up and down. What the heck was that? There it goes up and down again. Well, it's in kind of mind of its own here. Joseph, why did you tell me to do this? And there it goes fading away on its own now. What the heck is going on here? Okay. Ah. It's not going in at all. fading again. Up and down, up and down, all on its own. A little hard to align a radio that's going up and down like that. I'm doing nothing except sitting here perfectly still. I'm not moving at all. Well, okay. Oh, well. <laughs> I thought I had this radio all put together and back in its cabinet, but now, now I don't know what to think. I have to think this. I'm running out of time here to work on the radio, and either I've done something that's initiated this up and down thing by twiddling the IF, or this up and down thing's been going on and I haven't noticed it. Um, I certainly haven't noticed anything like it up until now. So oh, there's a good chance I, I just wasn't aware that there was some uh, up and down fading going on with this radio. But I really don't know for sure what to make of it. So, I think I'm going to have to leave it here for now. And uh, i got to get some better alignment tools. Because uh, we're going to have to reshape these because they're not fitting in the slots on the uh, screwdriver head. that be it for now and uh, stay tuned for hopefully another one <laughs>